Folks, thanks for coming by. Hey, we're here with the Ruth Parks special gifts that she sent in the Spode from England India Tree dinnerware. Thought you might want to see. There's a lot to see right here on my take on Home and Garden. Man, guys, I'm overwhelmed. I've already opened two boxes. Got one out of the way. Got some cups and saucers out. I guess unboxing is a popular thing. <laughs> but I think looking at the beautiful is more of a popular thing. But we'll move this along and let's see what our wonderful friend Ruth has sent here. She's probably thought we forgot about her. <laughs> I think she's probably seen the boxes in other videos. Here's three more big boxes to open and I'm gonna cut through the time to get these opened up like the gift wasn't enough it cost her hundreds to send everything she has used everything in her house. <laughs> she warned me. She sent, I think, everything they ever were saving and packed it in these boxes to protect this stuff. <laughs> Look at this. That's exactly how you want to ship something precious. A packed box inside of another box and I told her I was re-insulating the attic with all her packing look at the girl Oh man, this is some kind of exciting here. Yeah, that's what I feel loose here. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at the shape this stuff is in. We'll talk about Spode, and there's quite a period of Spode. In fact, I think there's four major periods of spout from England. Now I'm going to open that last one and get organized so I can sit down and talk to you and show you what's going on. <laughs> Look at this. Ruth, I've got through all your incredible packaging. I realize that you do have many talents and that was really superb. However, I'll probably need to send you a couple rolls of paper towel and uh, garbage bags. <laughs> She's got a wonderful letter in the box. Now, I'm not reading the whole personal letter as usual, but I will just read the top. Hello, Jeff and Angela. I know this is costing a small fortune to send, but I want you to have the set, and it is really the only way to send them. Who cares if I can't pay the power bill for a month? Oh my goodness. And then she says, ha ha, <laughs> kidding. But it would pay 
most of our power bills for the month, what it cost her to send this. These dishes belong to my maternal grandmother. She was one of my role models throughout her life and mine. So I'll tell you, I love that. You know, it's already so meaningful. This pattern, I have not seen personally up close like this. So what she has is most of a set of six, okay? And I'm gonna touch on Spode as a company here first, real quick, so everybody gets an idea. The Spodes, the Mr. Spode and the Son are in mid 1700s. They that developed this company and that name. That's what the name is derived from. This India tree pattern is from a pattern from that era. Okay. Now, Spode as a company, there's like four segments of them. There's 1700s to 1833. Then there's 1833 to 1966. And that is right here, what I found. This is a mixed set. The Copeland family ran Spode after the original Spode family. Copeland Spode is right here in these cups and saucers, okay? Now, it's neat to me that there's a different, there is one different, typically I call this a teacup. This might be considered a coffee cup, but it's either or because it's they're so close there's really just a slight pedestal here this is low and wider and frankly this is just a different style this is more of a coffee cup to me and this more of a teacup let's give that a saucer too so it can be seen in its full glory here Okay, so there's seven cups and saucers in the Copeland Spode. Right away, that tells you these are before or right on 1966. They're not after, so they're older. Uh, just as a little historical look at this and what she had I'd say she had these first and loved them and then collected the others after but that's the history of the stamps on these and it's just super beautiful to me and Ruth you know you're gonna get a table but I'm going to ask you probably <laughs> towards the fall, sweetie, because I like to, you know how we are here and how I think about color. So I'd say the first whisper of, of fall, you'll have an incredible table out of these. You certainly, she says in the letter, if I decide to do it, Oh no, you're not gonna send all this and get cheated out of a table. We'll do a couple of tables, but just so you know, you know, when I'd like to do it, uh, because of the, this incredible color, look at the dinner plates. So there's a set of six here. We'll get some close-ups on all that she sent and they'll be quite striking. 
These are in spectacular condition. When she first got a hold of us, she did mention there was a couple with flea bites, and she asked, you know, did you still want those? <laughs> I said, oh yeah, you, most of you know I'm gonna fix them anyway. And some, they're, they're really mostly not bad at all. Not at all. One little dot, you know, that like we call a flea bite. Uh, one has a, more like a mouse bite, but that's the worst one I saw. So we have the dinner plates, okay? We have the wonderful luncheon plate. Look at this. Just beautiful. And if you were having more than six people, Children could certainly use a luncheon plate, and that's probably about how it went. And like Ruth mentioned, people that were proud of their things, especially their expensive things and collections, they took care of them, they put them away, you know, and uh, they only got them out for special occasions, so a couple times a year. It's really sweet. Certainly that's all she used these because they're in really good shape. Um, so, you see the teacup and saucer, the coffee cup and saucer. Then we have a dessert plate, okay? And it it's really getting to me about the size. They're really dainty and tiny. There's a dessert or berry bowl, okay? Right here, I'll put them together like that. Then, I mean, when I think of my kids eating cereal, they would look at this and ask where the <laughs> cereal bowl is. But you know, high society, doesn't eat like that. <laughs> My boys want a mixing bowl or their cereal, <laughs> or did anyway. Here is the cereal bowl. I can't get over it. It's so cute. But I mean, you know, cereal could be your oatmeal or cream of wheat. My favorite that I hardly ever get. <laughs> but here's the cereal bowl. Six, seven. Okay, there's seven. And there's seven teacups, or coffee cups, and then one teacup. So I will be on the lookout for things that are missing. That will be the fun. You know I'm going to work on building this set. Which brings me to another point, Ruth. <laughs> we certainly know you did your part here, but after looking for some of these pieces, I just thought I'd share. I found a soup terrine with an underplate. I mean, this thing is staggering beautiful. Okay, it's only $1,999. I thought that was a pretty good buy. The coffee pot for this set, they're wanting uh, $249. That's $249. <laughs> this one might take a while <laughs> to build up. But that tells you how how much they want for any of the pieces also. The teapot is absolutely beautiful at $349. And that is US, I'm quoting, $349. I would love the teapot and the coffee pot someday if I never get to have another piece, someday that'd be really cool. But Ruth, you're such a doll. 
I can't look any sillier than the last time I showed the stuff you sent. <laughs> Get all choked up. I, I just, I don't want to go there again because it's a happy, happy show. Of course, that was happy anyway. But um, I know we're gonna, I'm gonna do some robotic camera work and you guys are gonna get to see everything up close. And I can't thank Ruth Parks enough for being so generous and awesome and sending these to the right people that'll take care of them. Even when we're gone, they'll be taken care of. Thanks guys. And hopefully you liked our video today. You know, you could send a buddy over, tell them how much fun we have. Give us a like, a share, a comment. And you know it's coming from right here on my take on Home and Garden. Lots of fun and lots of collectibles to enjoy and look at too. We got a couple hauls coming. <laughs> and I had to shop for summer. You know, I don't want to get the jump and get everybody all jittery that I think it's summer yet. I don't. You know, but we're going to have to get ready <laughs> to decorate for summer. Coming soon. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon in the next mm -hmm. over-the-top decor and collector video. Thank you, Ruth. You're incredible. You're amazing. You must have the first seat in God's chariot. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Take care.